Have you ever wondered what items are absolutely forbidden on a plane? It's a question that piques curiosity, isn't it? As travelers, we can often get caught up in the excitement of our journey and overlook the importance of understanding what we can or cannot bring aboard. It's not just about following rules, it's about ensuring safety and security for all. So, what are the top items that are a no-go in your luggage? In this video, we will explore the top 10 items that you are absolutely forbidden to bring on a plane. Number one on our list is explosives and fireworks. Now you might be thinking, who would bring dynamite on a plane? But you'd be surprised. Explosives aren't just sticks of dynamite or blasting caps, they also include any kind of fireworks from sparklers to Roman candles. These items pose a significant threat to the safety of the flight. Imagine what could happen if a firework accidentally ignited mid-flight. Not a pretty picture, right? Fireworks are designed to explode, and in the confined, pressurized environment of an airplane, the results could be catastrophic. Even small explosives can cause a lot of damage. They can rupture the plane's hull, endangering everyone on board. And it's not just about the physical damage. The panic and chaos that would ensue in such a situation is unimaginable. So next time you're packing for a trip, remember, leave your fireworks for ground celebrations. Coming up next at number two are flammable items. Now this category includes a broad range of items that you might not initially consider dangerous. However, they are potential fire hazards and therefore are strictly forbidden in your checked or carry-on luggage. Anything that can easily catch fire such as fuels, gasoline, lighter fluid and even matches is prohibited due to the risk of causing a fire on the plane. Imagine the devastating consequences if a flame were to break out mid-flight. It's a frightening thought, isn't it? And let's not forget about those who love camping and outdoor adventures. While it might be tempting to pack your camping stove fuel for that destination camping trip, unfortunately it's a no-go. The potential risk it poses is simply too high, so remember when you're packing for your next trip, leave your flammable items safely at home. After all, it's better to be safe than sorry. So, it's best to pack your camping stove fuel at home. Sharp objects take the third spot on our list. Now, it's not hard to guess why you can't bring a samurai sword or a machete on board a flight. Objects like knives, box cutters, and yes, even swords, pose an obvious risk to the safety of everyone on the plane. But it's not all sharp objects that are banned. Here's a fun fact. Safety razors, the kind you'd use for shaving, are actually allowed in your carry-on luggage. It seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? But the blades are so small and designed in such a way that they pose minimal risk. The same goes for scissors as long as they're less than 4 inches from the pivot point. But if you're traveling with your favorite chef's knife or a dagger you picked up at a renaissance fair, you're going to want to check that in your luggage. So, it's best to check your bags if you're traveling with any sharp objects. Sporting goods occupy the fourth spot. Now you might be wondering why you can't bring your favorite baseball bat or golf clubs on board. Well, it's quite simple. These items have the potential to be used in a harmful way and can pose a significant safety risk. Imagine, if you will, a crowded cabin with limited space. Now consider someone swinging a golf club or a baseball bat, not exactly a pleasant thought, right? Similarly, pool cues and ski poles, while seemingly harmless, can also be used in a threatening manner. The goal of these restrictions is to ensure the safety and comfort of all passengers. After all, a peaceful and worry-free flight is what we all desire. So, the next time you're packing for your golfing holiday or skiing trip, remember that these items need to be checked in. They're perfectly fine to travel, but they must do so in the cargo hold. Remember, your sports gear must travel in the cargo hold. Guns and firearms are number 5 on our list. Now you might be wondering, why are guns and firearms not allowed on a plane? Well the answer is simple. The safety of passengers and crew members is a priority in aviation. Guns and firearms can pose a serious threat to this safety if they end up in the wrong hands. Hence, they are strictly forbidden in the cabin. However, it's not all a no-go zone. If you must travel with your firearm, it's crucial that it's properly packed in your checked luggage. The firearm must be unloaded, of course, and locked in a hard-sided container. This is to prevent any accidental discharge and to ensure that it's inaccessible during the flight. Remember, each airline may have specific requirements for transporting firearms, so it's always a good idea to check with them before you fly. Don't forget, firearms must be unloaded and locked in a hard-sided container. Self-defense items take the sixth spot on our list. You might be thinking, but surely I can bring my trusty pepper spray or mace for personal safety, right? Well, not quite. These items are actually prohibited on planes. The rationale behind this is quite simple. In a confined space like an airplane, these items can cause significant harm and panic if accidentally discharged. 
But it's not just pepper spray or mace. Martial arts weapons, like nunchaku or throwing stars, are also a no-go. Even though you might be a black belt and use these tools responsibly, not everyone on the plane might. And remember, the primary objective of these rules is to ensure the safety of all passengers on board. So, before you pack that stun gun or brass knuckles in your carry-on, remember that these self-defense items are a significant flight risk. It's best to leave your self-defense items at home when flying. Tools are number 7 on our list. Now this might strike you as odd but most tools are actually forbidden in the cabin of a plane. Whether you're a handyman or just someone carrying a multi-tool for emergencies, leaving these items in your carry-on could lead to some hassle at the security checkpoint. This includes items like screwdrivers, wrenches and pliers, especially if they're over 7 inches in length. Power tools and larger hand tools, such as drills and saws, are also not permitted in the cabin. But don't worry, this doesn't mean you have to leave your toolbox at home. You can pack these items in your checked luggage, just make sure they're securely wrapped to prevent any damage or injury to baggage handlers. In essence, while your tools are welcome on board, they're not invited to the party upstairs. They have to ride in the trunk, so to speak. Remember, your tools have to travel in the cargo hold. Chemicals and toxins are eighth on our list. This category encompasses a wide range of substances, many of which are common household items. Bleach, for instance, is a standard cleaning product, yet it's forbidden on flights due to its corrosive nature and the potential for misuse. Likewise, spray paint is banned not only because it's highly flammable, but also due to its potential for vandalism. Tear gas, although primarily seen as a self-defense tool, is deemed hazardous because of its capacity to induce temporary blindness and severe respiratory problems. Moreover, other chemicals including certain household cleaners, fertilizers and pesticides are also prohibited. The reasons vary from potential misuse to the risk of accidental spills, which could lead to harmful fumes or reactions. The key takeaway here is that items which seem harmless, or even beneficial in our day-to-day -day lives, can pose significant risks in the confined environment of an airplane. Ensure you leave any chemicals and toxins at home. Let's quickly recap the top items you cannot bring on a plane. Our journey began with explosives and fireworks. These items are a clear no-go for air travel. The danger they pose to people and the aircraft is significant, and their presence on board could lead to catastrophic consequences. We then delved into flammable items. These are objects that can easily ignite, causing a fire on board. This category includes items like lighter fluid, paint, and certain kinds of batteries. Next, we tackled sharp objects. From knives to box cutters, razors, and even certain types of nail clippers, these are items that could potentially be used as a weapon, and are thus not allowed in your carry-on luggage. We also discussed sporting goods. While it might seem tempting to bring your favorite golf clubs or baseball bats on your trip, these items are not allowed in the cabin due to their potential use as blunt force weapons. Guns and firearms are another clear no-go. Even if you're licensed to carry, these items are strictly prohibited on flights due to the obvious threat they pose. Self-defense items such as pepper spray, mace, or stun guns also fall into the forbidden category. While they're designed for personal safety, in the wrong hands, they could be used to harm others. We then ventured into the realm of tools. While a wrench or a screwdriver might seem innocuous, they're not allowed in the cabin due to their potential use as a weapon. Finally, we touched on chemicals and toxins. This includes certain cleaning supplies, pesticides, and poisonous substances. These items pose a risk to the health and safety of everyone on board. In summary, if an item poses a threat to the safety and security of passengers and crew, it's best left at home. When in doubt, check with your airline or the Transportation Security Administration. Remember, safety is paramount when flying so it's best to leave these items at home.